Hey what's up guys, this is going to be part 2 of my PlayStation 3 mod uh, which is going to be themed after the game Alice Madness Returns. So as I said in the last video I still had to get my hands on some materials and I finally did. I managed to get my hands on the fabric and an uh, acrylic piece. So yeah, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to sew the fabric to the acrylic and make like part of Alice her dress with the blue and also make the white cotton apron she's wearing. Um, I'm only going to make part of it so it's gonna have one pocket and it's gonna have a sheet for the knife, the Vorpal blade which he carries in game. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the acrylic piece to the right length. Luckily for me the piece that I had of acrylic which was left over from other projects I had was um, pretty much the same size like the width was pretty much right. Uh, I only had to cut, cut on one side to make the height right. Now with the acrylic cut, it is time to mark the drilling holes. Um, I'm going to drill holes in it as I said, and I'm going to use that to sew the fabric to the acrylic panel. So I've got some drill bits which are like as small as 0.4 millimeters up to 2 millimeters, but I'm going to be using a 0.6 and a 1 millimeter drill bit right now. When planning the drill holes, I also need to make sure there's enough room for the pocket but also that the pocket doesn't interfere with the sheet of the knife. Um, so that's why I placed it on here first. I'm measuring the drill holes to be 5mm apart and I will be sewing it in with the same pattern as used in the game. The knife itself is going to be the mini Vorpal Blade replica which was officially sold back then when the game was released. Um, I originally also thought about using the real size one, but when I got it, I thought it was bigger than the PlayStation 3 itself, so that was never an option. The mini version, however, is perfect. It's 24cm long, while the PlayStation is about 30cm long. So, with all the drill holes marked, it was time for drilling. Um, you don't need to sand punch when you're using small drill bits like this, because they're quite steady. The only important thing is that you're drilling perfectly straight because they break like super easily. A little bit of sideways force and they break already because they're super thin of course. Now I ended up only drilling with the 1mm drill bit and not with the 0.6. The problem was the drill I have is like um, when you tighten the drill bits in it, it doesn't tighten enough to clamp onto such small drill bits because it's not made for that small things. <laughs> so I couldn't use the smallest drill bits I had, I could only use like um, the one millimeter or bigger. Now with all the holes drilled, it is time to cut the fabric. Um, as I said, I managed to get my hands on some scrap pieces of fabric and these were perfect because they were big enough to cover the acrylic panel or like parts of it. Um, and I like for example the blue part doesn't need to cover the entire panel since it only has to go under the apron and then you don't see it anymore. So it only has to cover a part of it and these scraps are perfect. Um, I will make them long enough so that they can go around the edges of the acrylic panel. This way you won't see any edges of the fabric because I don't want that. Because it doesn't look very beautiful. Now with the blue uh, fabric cut to shape I also have to cut the uh, cotton fabric of course. I also have to cut the cotton fabric into the shape of the pocket. Um, and with the advice of my mother, I folded the top and used the sewing machine to make it so you didn't see an edge and you also it was strong enough to actually use as a pocket so the like it wouldn't tear or anything. For this part I used the sewing machine but all the rest is hand sewn um, because you can't use a sewing machine for acrylic and stuff like that obviously. So I also wanted to add the symbol on the pocket which is there in game but you couldn't really see how that was made onto there didn't look like it was like another soon piece of fabric so I decided to embroider the symbol on there because embroidering was used back then quite a bit um, which ended up being quite a lot of work to be honest because I, I even with the help of my mom it took like a day to finish just the symbol I'm glad I did it because it ended up looking pretty alright but I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon again <laughs> now originally I planned to make the sheet of leather but since leather is quite thick, it would show through the fabric. 
because it's all being like attached to a tin acrylic sheet um, so I didn't really like that also the knife isn't really sharp so eventually I decided to use the same cotton fabric scraps that I had in order to make the sheet for the knife since you're not gonna see this sheet I decided to use the sewing machine as well for that because it's a lot quicker and this way it will be sturdy enough for actually to hold the knife because it's quite heavy um, it's quite textile to be honest now my mom also recommended that I sew the pocket onto the apron itself and not through the acrylic because first of all this would be easier because you can't re really see the acrylic holes when making that pocket also um, it will be a lot more usable when you like sew it to the apron even though I'm not gonna sew the pocket to the acrylic I'm still hand sewing it because I wanted it to have the same uh, looks as the rest of the apron and the dress and also to make sure if you look at the pictures the, the pocket has the same sewing pattern as well so it's a lot easier doing that by hand than with machine It was finally time to put it all together and sew the fabric to the panel um, this was quite a lot more difficult than I anticipated because since you fold it over, since I folded the fabrics over the edges you can't really see the holes like not even if you hold it up to the light um, not only that when you have like several layers of fabric stacking over each other like the blue layer and the white layer they overlapped on certain points and this caused it to be quite difficult to sew through because uh, even though the needle is quite sharp it, it's quite uh, difficult to go through several layers of fabric at once uh, so yeah and you also have to get it perfectly in the hole in the acrylic because otherwise there's nothing to go through because there's acrylic like blocking the needle but yeah I eventually managed to sew it all to the panel as I wanted <laughs> as you can see in the photos the panel fits quite perfectly onto the PlayStation 3 um, and now finally the entire PlayStation is Alice Madness Return themed so the front is painted as I showed in the first video and the back has now this cool back plate in order for it to be able to stand on its side I bought a cheap stand in China a PlayStation 3 stand um, and that works perfectly as you can see as I said earlier the full size 4 ball blade replica was quite big um, I will include some photos of that next to the PlayStation so you can see how big that full pull blade actually is. Um, I obviously used them in a replica as I said earlier. So yeah, that is pretty much this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, stay tuned for future mods because I'm planning to do some more mods in the future. Not sure of what yet, but they will probably be game themed as always.